Well, I want to thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, this is a custom shed final delivery. Uh, this is part two. It has a front entrance and a rear entrance and it is bottomless. And so it was really interesting. I hope you enjoy it and here we go. So it's about 8.45 in the morning. It's uh, starting just to get snow flurries out here and they're delivering the shed this morning. And the worst of the uh, so-called storm is to hit around, starting around nine or 10 this morning. So uh, I'm just getting our vehicles off the path and getting the uh, footer ready for the delivery that's supposed to be here around uh, between nine and 10 this morning. Yeah, I smell that gas. <laughs> yep, it's there, isn't it? Got to re-angle it, huh? Yeah, he's with what we got to work with. We need everything lined up as close as we can so that we can slide it straight. Yes, That's yes. The issue will be working. With. Looks yeah. like once you, oh yeah, you got to sort of like lean into it, huh? Right, right. You gotta get it drop in. into it. I mean, got to set it as close as we can. Get our doors open, then we'll drop it down and just kind of walk it off the trailer right into place. Your truck needs to be this way a little more, I think. Boy, you guys had that anchored down really well. Jeez. Guess you don't want it slipping off, huh? <laughs> wow.
hook it back up for you, man. <laughs> nice to know we got a little control in. Can you run your left or right foot down and tilt a little steep? If we get it within an inch or so, I think, I think we can we're pull good. that tail right out from under it. <coughs> I think I can get the tail out now. come this way an inch or so. Could you? You want to run that tail out and pick it up just enough to do that? That's unbelievable. You guys are so strong. <laughs> Hydraulics do amazing things. Oh, that's now. Now we gotta release that. Is this all GRK? Is it GRK or GRK? Is that what you Do you think it would be a good idea to, to get our trailer out as far as we can and drop that in lower so we're pushing a little flatter instead of harder? Let's do that before we get the braces out. That's what I'm thinking. Because uh, this is going to be a little bit. It's going to loosen up and come through. Yeah. We'll get some pressure on it. Let's do that. <clears throat> Uh huh. There you go. Wow. That's pretty awesome how you got how they did that. <laughs> you want to come back? Yeah. Yeah. The braces as far as we can go. <laughs> I, I would. I think because we can get. I think four feet out of that yeah. thing before we have to tear it and brace it down. Might have to throw a four four across and yeah. push through that chain a little. So how did you discover the gas? As soon as you hit water? Uh yeah, well, they came out to test the water, which, uh, but we noticed there was a problem in the very beginning when I flipped the breaker switch to run the well for the very first time, and it was, it was sputtering like there was air in there, and it wouldn't stop. And but the water looked clean, you know. It, it, looked, it turns out all that sputtering was gas and not not air. <laughs> Thank you. 
Are you serious? Really? Good on your side. It's coming this way a little. It's coming that way? It is. Is it staying here or should it go back? Because I can put some pressure on it. You got an inch, inch, your inch inside the concrete thing. All right. Let me see what I can do on this side as well. Need to push. Okay. Good. I can go another foot or so. Oh, we got, we got, we got a person stuck in the shed. <laughs> He'll find a way out. I hope so. <laughs> I'll be stuck on the. Well, those braces did their job, huh? Wow. About a half inch outside of concrete there, and half inch on this side. Okay. We're clearing everything. I'm actually bumping over a little bit here, though. My way. It went a little bit It is. Your hand's digging in instead of Huh? It's like your hand's trying to dig in. It is. Huh. Can we pull a trailer up now and drop that thing down and just put a board on it? That's what I was hoping to do. I think so. Then push. Yeah. Wow, it almost matches the house perfectly with the color. Thank you. 
garage, because this corner could. It's, uh, yeah. It's over here. Oh, yeah. Wow. If this is the biggest problem we find today. We've got to get that. Okay. So far, uh, well, can I make you at least a hot coffee? Oh, what do you say, David? I'm fine. But I'm good. Thank you, though. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, right. How about some cool water then? Yeah, cold <laughs> weather. There. <laughs> I'm good. I appreciate it. Thank okay. you, though, for the offer. There we go. All right. It looks like this one's sticking out just a little yeah, bit. Almost there though. Oh my gosh, right on perfect. <laughs> that is absolutely unbelievable. That is awesome. Cosmetic stuff. It's right. Wow. Oh my gosh. We got covering, man. <laughs> we we have protection. First time ever. I would come in here with a little bit of that great stuff or caulk or something. Yeah. Caulk that hole. Absolutely. Because it dips a little. Okay. You're going to have a hard time heating, keep this from freezing if you don't get it sealed off. Yeah. So the uh, the foam type to put around? Great stuff. It's a little pressurized can. Okay. What's yeah, And it's called what? Great stuff. Great stuff. It comes out as a foam. Okay. Uh, just a little yeah. spray bottle about that tall and that big around. Yeah, and you just go all around the edge there. Yeah. And don't put too much in because it'll expand. Uh, okay. And it'll fill that crack. But that will prohibit out. also water in case the, coming from the roof down. And we were told to get gutters on this thing too. I would. Yeah. I would. Yeah. What I would do on the inside is I'd put that great stuff down. And yeah. When it totally dries and everything gets good and dry, I'd go around the outside and put some silicone caulk. And just just fill that crack Do that. up all the way around the outside. That'll hold your water. Okay, so w the time frame to do that is when it's not wet and everything. Yeah, Wait until it dries out a you little can bit. Put the great stuff in, and that'll keep stuff from coming in. Oh, okay, so we can do yeah. the inside. I would do the inside. But the outside, wait until it dries. Until it dries. Okay, got it. Look got it. The name. Yeah. Look. Look at this. So, so this is. So we'll we'll get a PVC pipe that will go straight up, and do a small little hole up there. Does does gas will follow it out even if it comes down or not? They I I called the manufacturer. They said it's got to be straight. Gotta do you not angle it? Okay, that's what I'm wanting to know because you could turn and go through that wall or go out across. Well, the, my the, that was my first thing because when I saw this at your location there, I thought, well, guys, they have vents at, at each corner. Maybe we can angle it, you know? He said, absolutely not. Then it's so, free gravity flow, yeah, obviously. Yeah. You have that as a bit. Probably. Yeah, I do. Look at the space that we're going to have in here. Let's see, when, when this, and we'll have this all leveled somehow. Oh. We? Okay. 
Me? No, you. Okay, so so now you can see this. This has got to go down to this line. There's a line down there. It's not down there yet. And then that you can undo that and see where the the salt is. We can ask. That would be best. What is her name? And they can do another another. Uh, protection so that would be the only area where we put gravel in down here and then the rest of this the rest of this would be all cement in here and then we can uh, we can do a nice step stepping in We gotta leave the crack open. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Don't leave it open like that. Well, we'll here. Well, I thought I was gonna go right into the house, and then I thought, no, I should. The snow is coming down pretty decently, so I thought I would walk up to the county road that goes around our property and do an aerial view. <laughs> I don't have a, a drone, but this is my version of an aerial view. So here we go. And I'm huffing and puffing. Sorry about that if you're hearing me breathe because that was an incline walking up that hill in 20 degree or colder than that weather. So there's our home, and there's our shed, forever shed. They're advising not to drill a hole in the roof for the vent, but to angle it out to the side. So I need to call the company and just double check on that because the metal roof is riveted. So it's not going to be an easy thing if I have to do the hole in the top of the shed. So, we have uh, over 500 feet of footage around our property here. And, uh, well, there's a Starlink on top of our roof. I wonder, they, they say it doesn't, it's supposed to melt that. <laughs> ah, man, I gotta check into that. It looks like it's building up with snow. So if we don't have Wi-Fi in the house or internet, that might be a reason. Well, so far we still do. So, yeah, okay. Wow, I can't believe that we did the right thing on that footer. Was it worth the money? Absolutely. It was absolutely. So that's it. And, uh... I'll try to get this posted in the next couple days or so, as soon as it warms up a little bit. Okay. Take care. Bye. With many, many thanks. Thank you for watching uh, till the end of this video. Greatly appreciate it here at, at our um, homestead. And uh, many thanks also, of course, to uh, Cherokee Structures for their uh, incredible talent uh, to get this customized shed delivered on to our property and just so you know that after this thing was delivered and that was around 9 30 or so uh, the storm hit pretty severely and we were locked in on our property for almost five days after that but uh, here we are and uh, so thank you thanks again for watching and take care and God bless